Look at that storm. Hey, you know what this reminds me of, actually? Between the apartment and the snow outside? This makes me think of Indigo Prophecy. Anyone else get that feeling? This really does make me think of Indigo Prophecy. Coming, Tiffany. I'm sorry, your name's Alice. I really am getting the feel of Indigo Prophecy from this. Hmm. Whoa, what? What? What was that? Let me check and make sure my shadow... Shadows are, uh, maxed. Yep. Everything's maxed. Okay. Look at that art. Oh, is she a photographer? I see a lot of... Oh, and she had a camera. That makes sense. She's a photographer. And these must be her photos. Before I go to her, I want to check out the whole apartment. I love doing that. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are now I'm thinking of Indigo Prophecy even more. It's <laughs> <laughs> a barren closet. Oh, it's not a reflective mirror. I can't reach for gauze inside of the, uh, whatever that box is called, and then close the mirror and find that there's a dead person behind me. Indigo Prophecy. Indigo Prophecy. If you haven't played Indigo Prophecy, I'd recommend it. It has a lot of flaws, but it's still an interesting game. Manuscript. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. <laughs> the femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Why, hello, voice actor for Max Payne, one of Remedy's other games. Thinking in metaphors again. You do that a lot, Max Payne, and I love it. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome, slushy... Ew. Dissolved all the scattered painkillers, <laughs> leisurely dripped down to the sewer, mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Oh, I love you, Max. Awesome voice actor. Another QR code. What? Who would have that on their wall? Golden. Gun Award? What is that? Alan Wake, Return to Sender. Oh. I thought Alan Wake was the name of the book. I guess it's the name of the series of books. Return to Sender, what can I forget? What I can't forget. Alex Casey, The Things That I Want, The Fall of Casey. I guess I'll follow the character of Alex Casey. Hello, Alice. Hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. Ooh. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? 
Well, you seem to think so last night. Yes, I did. I did. I guess he did. I don't know. I can't think. I'm, I'm not in his brain. Those look quite nice. In fact, they look suspiciously like the voice actor who voices this person. I think. I remember seeing pictures of him. What am I looking at? Is that the background? It can't be. There's no icons. What are you working on? Looking at film? Oh, they're over here. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Uh oh. Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. It's all right. Come on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm Don't right worry. I'm here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back. Honey, now, it's a power please. outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. There we go. Everything's good. Hi. Don't worry. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick? How are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. That is a big fish. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. What is that? Is that a radio? Microwave? Hello? 
Sarah. Read. Read what? Oh. Wow, she is obsessed with lights. I wonder what she knows. She obviously knows something about my predicament. <laughs> what? His identifying feature is that he has a knack for winning contests? Oh yeah, that'll totally allow people to identify him. Is that one of the developers or something? Camping trip. Oh, out in the woods. I'm guessing the darkness got them. Oh, that's her, s Sarah's uh, office in there. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. I know. I just want to check your place out. Do you mind if I come back here? Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? She refuses to step on shadows. Does she realize that simply by existing, she's creating a shadow? The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. I know. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. Mm -hmm. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you down the corridor in her office. Sarah. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, You're right, a drunk. Luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Wow. They won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. 
All right, well, why not? There. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. Yes, I am a good guy, and you're not. Being here, the cops, they got it all <laughs> Okay, yeah, that... Tell you, just say that to the court, in your defense. Oh, hello. 